Hey folks, it's Ben Capozzi, the Main Street Gardener, and uh, I just wanted to uh, show you guys something kind of cool here real quick while I've got a minute. It's uh, Sunday, December 18th, uh, a week from Christmas. It's incredibly mild here today. It was, I think it was almost 60. Um, there's been a light rain kind of off and on, and uh, it's pretty great. But um, what I wanted to show you is um, I have seeds from a, a plant, and I'll try and find um, a picture to uh, put up on the blog uh, or insert somewhere in this before I upload it. Um, but anyhow, I'm, I'm planting some seeds from a cardoon, which is a, a really beautiful plant. Um, I'll show you in a minute. Um, but I'll show you where the seeds come from and uh, where I'm putting the seeds that I've harvested from the ones I've got here on the property. So here we go. So this is a, a leftover at the end of season that's been uh, saved for uh, a couple months now. Um, seed pod head. Cardoons produce these beautiful uh, giant purple seed heads. They look like, um, oh, uh, you see them in cow pastures all the time. Sorry, uh, thistles, giant thistles. That's what they look like. They're actually, uh, I don't know if they're related to thistle or not. But um, they produce these beautiful purple um, seed heads, and then the seed heads fall off. And, I, and I've decided this year I'd actually kind of keep them and dry them. I, uh, I kept them in this tub here along with a bunch of other seeds um, from uh, sycamore and uh, uh, hostas. I need to get all these things in the ground. But um, anyhow, so I just uh, I kind of tore this thing apart a bit to get at... Um, some seeds and that's them there and uh, so I'm gonna go and plant these um, where I need them and the reason that I'm growing uh, cardoons on my property is because uh, one uh, I originally got them as a mulch plant uh, they're mentioned in uh, Toby Hemingway's book Gaia's Garden about a, a great plant that produces a, a lot of biomass and you can um, then chop it down a couple times during the season and uh, I thought that was cool. I really had no idea what they would look like, and I didn't know how cool I would think that they are. Um, but I think they're gorgeous, and uh, as I said earlier, they are beloved by bumblebees. Like, bumblebees just go bottoms up uh, in these things, like ducks um, kind of paddling around in water. Um, it's pretty awesome and uh, adorable, and uh, anything that helps the pollinators uh, makes me happy. But um, I've still got a couple cardoons uh, here in the yard that look pretty good. Um, uh, despite uh, temperatures down in, in the teens uh, this week and then back up in the 50s and then uh, next week we're going back down into the 20s sometimes a really really brutal cold will take a little bit of the starch out of uh, them uh, knock them back a bit but uh, when the weather warms up they come right back so I'm going to take these seeds and um, uh, on the way to where I'm going to plant them I'll show you what my cardoons look like right now so here's a cardoon right here in uh, in our outer orchard and um, like I was seeing you I mean it's December so it's been knocked back a couple times and is pretty small but this thing usually gets about five feet tall and put out these uh, puts out excuse me these beautiful blue uh, purple um, blossoms uh, they're just gorgeous and um, so anyhow I'm going to uh, plant these seeds over here in another part of the orchard um there's another cardoon and um they kind of they don't sucker they don't spread uncontrollably they um they do kind of grow a bit this is uh i think the third year for this plant and the fourth year for this plant and it just it just comes back i let it um self seed and uh comes right back it's uh it's kind of uh sharp um you can grab it but um, this one looks okay but usually the tips have uh kind of a little thin spines like you can kind of see there you wouldn't want to um you know just grab it outright but um the uh ribs these big big stocky things right here looks kind of like celery um are apparently uh, quite a delicacy um i think europe is big on uh you cook them up you blanch them uh that's cardoons and they're considered very gourmet i have never eaten mine um not yet maybe this will be the year but mostly what i do is uh if i can stand to not let it get big enough to bloom what i do is uh, i chop it down a couple times a season and let those giant leaves fall they break down very easily but they basically build mulch they um help suppress uh weeds and grass uh that might otherwise encroach on the orchard and i only have um three uh along the uh, outer orchard here so what i want to do is bring some in to uh this area the side orchard here the uh christmas lights the wife put up today 
Um, so I'm just going to take my handful of seeds and go and spread them uh, willy-nilly. And uh, hopefully I'll get some uh, next season. I'll, uh, I'll pull back the leaves and drop these in there so they get some good soil contact. But uh, those are cardoons and uh, hopefully we'll see these come back up uh, in the spring. So stay tuned.